<clears throat> All right. What I like to do is show you how to simplify a, uh, a rational expression when we have a uh, complex number on the bottom. Now, remember, a complex number is uh, when we have an i is part of it, and that's going to be your imaginary part. But we have um, a plus bi. When it's in the form of a plus bi, all right, a is going to be your real part, and b is going to be your imaginary part. Now, a lot of times, just i is a complex number where a is equal to 0 and b would equal to 1. But uh, when we have it in this format, which we call binomial, um, one important thing that was really going to help us out, we cannot divide when we have i on the bottom. And the reason why is because i, like we said, represents the square root of negative 1. And if you remember from geometry algebra, you can't divide by a radical, especially a radical with a negative end under it, which is imaginary. So one thing that we need to remember is when dealing with a binomial, what we have is, or especially with complex numbers, we have what we call comp, uh, conjugate pairs. And what I'm saying, what I mean by that is a plus bi, the conjugate pair of that is going to be a minus bi. And what's so important about that is when I do this FOIL, I get a plus a negative a bi plus a, B, I, plus B squared, I squared. And what's so cool about this, this is what we call a difference of two squares, my middle terms cancel out. And I'm, oh shoot, that's A squared. I'm left with A squared plus B squared times I squared, which is a negative one. So therefore I'm left with A squared minus B squared, which we call a difference of two squares. So what I'm going to want to do to get rid of this on the bottom, I'm going to have to multiply by our conjugate, conjugate pair, which would be 4 plus 5i. And I do that on the bottom and on the top. So what's helpful about when you know you're going to have a conjugate pair is you don't need to foil everything like I did and show all that work you know that the middle terms are always going to cancel out. So on the bottom, I'll get 4 times 4, which is 16, and then negative, five times, negative 5i times times 5i is going to give you negative 25i squared. All over 2 times 4, which is 8, 2 times 5i is 10i. i squared equals a negative 1, so I get 8 plus 10i all over 16 minus 25 times negative 1. Well, 25 times negative 1, negative 25 times negative 1 is a positive 25. Positive 25 plus 16 is going to give me a 41. So therefore, I'm left with 8 plus 10i divided by 41. However, when we're talking about complex numbers, we need to write it in the form of a plus bi, which we call standard form. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to separate this into two fractions. So I'll get 8 over 41. I don't know what that was. 8 over 41 plus 10i over 41. I just don't want to write 41. Here I wanted to write a plus, and there I wanted to write an i. Okay? So that would be our final answer in standard form.